Welcome back. Thank you very much for staying with us. Now, the Urology Hospital has conducted 3,500 robotic procedures, making it the first hospital on the African continent to reach this milestone. This is thanks to the acquisition of its second Da Vinci robot. Let's find out more about the procedures and how it helps people. Dr. Lance Kutsia, urologist and robotic surgeon at the Urology Hospital, joins us now via Zoom. Doctor, good afternoon and thank you very much for your time. This is such a positive development. Firstly, just for the benefit of those who might not be aware, what is robotic assisted radical prostate ectomies? Thank you very much, and uh, thank, thank you for the opportunity. Um, this is technology um, by which we can these days um, perform uh, prostate cancer surgery, especially uh, without the a lot of the side effects that have plagued this sort of surgery in the past, such as urinary incontinence and uh, loss of potency. And, and this is what often uh, frightens men away and prevents them from being uh, evaluated and tested. Now, prostate cancer is the most common uh, solid tumor uh, cancer that men get. Uh, the numbers are quite staggering. Uh, roughly one in six men uh, gets prostate cancer. and. Uh, it, it is a potentially curable disease, provided it's picked up in time. Um, and this has always been a problem in the past where men have come too late uh, because of these fears that they've had. Now with the new technology, uh, we can allay a lot of those fears. We can perform the curative surgery in a lot of men um, and preserve their quality of life to a large extent. Um, and uh, with a lot of them, enable them to lead normal lives without cancer. Mm -hmm. Now, cancer is the second leading cause of death, and prevention, as we know, is always better than is, is the best cure. But in the case of surgery, can you just take us through the post-operative care as a result of a robotic procedure compared to normal surgery, if we just had to make that comparison? Sure. Uh, there, there are massive differences. The, uh, because you don't have any large wounds, no muscles are cut through, you have a few uh, small puncture holes in the, in the abdomen, the patient's recovery is a lot quicker. The, the blood loss is significantly less, um, whereas in the past with open surgery, it was not unusual for patients to receive two or three, sometimes four units of, of blood, go to intensive care uh, facilities, have central venous lines, and spend up to seven days in hospital. Now with the robotic surgery, we're losing on average uh, 50 to 100 milliliters of, of blood, which is just a little more than an egg cup full at times. And uh, the patients go from a normal ward back into a normal ward, and they literally leave hospital within 36 to 48 hours. Um, so when you return to work, the morbidity of the surgery uh, is literally night and day. Uh, Wow, so impressive. Then to the hospital itself, what other procedures are being offered at the urology hospital? Well, with the, especially with the new technology now, uh, we're doing a lot of kidney surgery, especially kidney cancers, where in the past uh, kidneys were removed with uh, relatively small tumors in. Now we can very accurately remove uh, cancers out of kidneys and, and preserve uh, those kidneys. Uh, which is very important to the patients going forward because uh, they can sometimes develop tumors in the other kidney. And if, uh, as in the past, the, the one kidney has been removed, uh, that makes it very challenging. And mm -hmm. uh, so we're preventing a lot of patients having to go on to dialysis uh, eventually down the line. Um, and also just the, uh, the quality of life of, of living with two kidneys and not having to uh, uh, really protect the remaining kidney um, with special dietary uh, restrictions and restrictions on medications and, and anti-inflammatories, uh, etc. So that's, that's one of the big uh, advantages. And then we've done a lot of uh, reconstructive surgery, uh, congenital abnormalities in the kidneys. We're doing uh, now the uh, robotic technology is becoming multidisciplinary. Um, we a lot of the colorectal surgeons are coming on board and doing a uh, a lot of 
uh, colon cancer surgery, the gynecologists are coming on board, and as the funders come on board as well, um, we would be able to offer uh, patients uh, procedures such as hysterectomies uh, robotically, which really reduces the morbidity significantly, and, and mm -hmm. some patients even going on the same day. Mm -hmm. um, then, you know. then, then, doctor, to the costs. What are likely the costs of these type of procedures that are aided by robotics in comparison to the old manner of doing things or the one that is more common? Yes, the, the cost is, is obviously a little more. Um, we like to think, and we've done the, uh, the arithmetic and we've presented this to the funders as well, that the uh, decreased hospital stay, the decreased uh, uh, ICU admissions, the decreased uh, blood transfusion uh, figures uh, very, comes very close to balancing out the uh, the cost of the old uh, surgery where, you know, the patients were in hospital for close to a week versus literally two days. Um, and that's not even taking into account the uh, the patient's return to work, um, you know, within 10 to 14 days versus six weeks with uh, with the old surgery. Um, so the, uh, the, the, but just getting back to the cost of the procedure itself, uh, it, it is a little more expensive, but uh, very, uh, very realistically so, uh, and certainly not uh, uh, not through the roof. The mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, the the costs are, are, are very close to being comparable at this stage. Mm -hmm. A medical aid covering it. Well, Apologies yes, for interjecting, but oh, they are, they are. And some of them, some of the medical aides um, are, are not on board yet, and, and that's sad uh, because we've been to them, we've, uh, we've presented the data to them, and, and we now have our own data. And as, as you correctly said, you know, previously uh, we were using data from uh, a lot of countries overseas, the United States, Europe, but now we, we've uh, just at one facility where we have uh, now 12 trained uh, urologists who are on the robotic technology, we, we have our own data uh, with over three and a half thousand cases. And uh, it's, it's very clear that these patients' outcomes are significantly different from mm. the, uh, the old surgery. Quite impressive. Doctor, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. That was Dr. Lance Katsia, a urologist and robotic surgeon at the Urology Hospital. To this story